Good evening, class. Welcome back. In our today's lesson, we're going to talk about. We're going to focus on holiday experiences, especially mainly people who face up problems during their holidays, and what kind of what kind of solutions they usually、um, try to find and deal with them. I've got some questions. I've got some questions for you to answer and to do a bit of brainstorming, a bit of thinking, just before you discuss with your neighbors. Could you look at the board, please? Yes. Here is a here is a list of questions. Where did you spend your last holiday? Okay, summer or winter, it doesn't matter. And where were you? Who were you with? How long did it last you to go and come back? What kind of problems did you face? Was it a nice place? Was it a great hotel to stay to stay at? Okay, these kind of questions. Could you discuss in pairs, please? Questions that are on the board. You can make notes before you start the conversation. Okay. Did you discuss? You two, you two here. Okay. I want you to mainly focus on the problems, the part of problems you answered, you talked, you discussed, because. We're not going to talk about holidays themselves. We're going to talk about the problems people usually have during their holidays. If they didn't enjoy, what what happens? They didn't enjoy. Okay. Let's guess. You can look at your answers and then. Or you can invent more problems about okay problems with problems with air conditioning. Yes, that's a common problem. Service problems at restaurants. You're right. That's another problem. Yes, that's a flip side. You communication problems. Okay, problems with communication. Problems. Problems at an airport. Yes, your answers really seem persuasive to me. Yes, obviously we all have this sort of problems. Yes, and now after we discussed these specific questions to find out what sort of problems people usually experience during their holidays, we're going to. We're going to write down some of those sentences we already mentioned, we already used, and focus on the grammar, the tense form we used. Remember, we talked about present experiences or past experiences. I know. Yes, you're right. Past experiences. Does it make any sense to you talking about past experiences using grammar properly? Is that appropriate? Is it important for us as a communicator? Ale, you think the same as I do. Okay, that's really important for us as a communicator to use grammar properly because. It plays a, it plays a great important role. Yes, could you write down some, some of those sentences we already mentioned and see if they have been appropriately, if they have been appropriately linked to the, to the, right tense form. Here you go.
Okay, guys. What you found out, I hope you found out that grammar is essentially linked with the linked with the communication because it won't it wouldn't make any sense without the usage of the past tense talk about the past experiences without the usage of the past tense thanks a lot of okay that's a lot yes that's a must good job to you now <coughs> look at your sentences and you Look at the highlighted parts. I hope you highlight it. Good job. You highlighted them. You all highlighted them in different colors to see how distinctive they are. Because our focus is our focus is on the grammar. Okay. Your sentence was I spent my last summer holiday in Canada. Yes. Okay. What well, what's your tense form here? Where is it? Okay, your answer in the past simple. Okay. Good. How about you? There was no parking space. Good job. There was no you have highlighted there was okay. Okay, and you, the food was fantastic, okay, another past tense, all right, good job guys, we partly know the whole, we partly know the story, that's the beginning only, now I want you to look at the board, I have drawn a time timeline, and then I want you to come up, come on up the board and tag your events on the timeline and point out to the past. I want you to do that. You have, you have different sentences, different past experiences happened at different times. And I want you to come up and pin and tag your sentences which happened at different at different times to the timeline okay i went to india for my summer holiday last month you tagged it on the timeline so your time expression is last month you too Okay, you also tagged. You drew another timeline and then tagged. No problem. We've got a lot of space in the board then. <laughs> okay. Go back to your seats. Thank you. And now, guys, I want you to create some probing questions that questions are going to make you think a little bit more about a little bit more about the information you've written there i went to india for my summer holiday last month and you have tagged it on the timeline it surely happened in the past that's why it's on the right side since i have divided the timeline into two parts present and past you've tagged it where yes you've tagged it on the past line now Create some probing questions while you are sitting and waiting. That's my instruction, okay. Create some probing questions such as, when did it happen? Use when, where, who, why, how questions to drive each other to be involved in more Depth in conversations, okay? Now, go on. Create your questions.
Okay, guys. You two over here, you two over there. Good. You've got the questions on your papers. Now I want you to, each of you, I want you to draw a timeline with the events tagged on them and discuss in pairs by looking at your questions. Please do not forget the element. Do not forget the purpose. The purpose is to show our understanding of the past and using the grammar according to the past events correctly. Okay? One, two, three. Here we go. One more thing, I'm sorry for interrupting, is to focus on the verbs depending on without depending on being regular or irregular. Highlight them on your sentences or in your sentences on your timelines. Look at the questions, use your highlighters and discuss a little bit more.